everyone, this is my recap of this year's APCs at the University of Minnesota. It was certainly an interesting ride on an airplane. There were so many babies. Instead of the movie Snakes on a the Plane, there's so many babies and the movie should be called Daycare on a Plane. In addition to that, my airplane was scheduled at eight o'clock, but there were several hours of delay, so I didn't get there until maybe an hour or two after uh, the two o'clock time slot. So besides a welcome speech, there were two main presentations. The first one was about the American Board of Endodontics. They were saying how only about 20% of endodontics are board certified. That trails periodontics or surgeons, orthodontics, and other specialties. So they're really encouraging the new residents to become board certified to keep endodontics as strong and as powerful of a specialty as possible. The second presentation was on medically compromised patients. This presentation is nothing in particular new, something that we've learned in dental school already. The evening was a social event. This is the part that residents most looked forward to. There were tons of vendors giving away free things. There were tons of food. It included a seafood spread of shrimp, a crab, and there was even an open bar. And for some people, that was the main part of the program. Now for me, my main objective was to go trick-or-treating around the vendors. I got tons of stuff. Look at this bag right here. There must be several pounds of things, including cups here. I got some bottles. I even got a bottle that filters water. And of course, I have random endo things like this the BC sealer, not endorsement by the way. Now the next day was action packed and it started right away in the morning. We had three main things. The first was a presentation on 3D imaging. The presenter basically said that 3D imaging is a must in future endodontics and at some point we'll take one for every case. The second was a panel of four endodontics. They came from different backgrounds. So we had a good perspective on how the career path came to be. The third was very simple. We just had a tour of the Minnesota dental clinics and we were able to see their endodontic clinic as well. The afternoon presentations were first about mishaps and endodontics. A lot of it was related to overfills and affecting nerves. The second presentation was on a big topic, regenerative endodontics. It was talking about the current situation and the future prospects as well. And from my standpoint, in later videos, we'll talk about this quite a bit. Um, but at this point, it's very exciting to hear and the presenter definitely presented that way. Thanks for watching guys. The night basically concluded with a rooftop bar night and it was a great time. I hope you enjoyed watching this as well.